uh, the reason I really like Mr. Barker is that he, his teaching style is very different, and I think that it makes you mo connect more with him and the class as a whole. And I feel like his sto a little uh, personal stories and things really kind of help you understand the concepts that he's trying to teach. And so I feel like you can really understand what he's trying to say. And I feel like it's just easy to connect with him as well. And I think that's why like me and a lot of other students really like Mr. Barker. Hello, my name is Mr. Barker. I teach AP Psychology, I teach US Government, and I teach Sociology. I am old. I have been teaching for 15 years, give or take. I don't remember the exact number, but it's pretty close. No, I was not the best student. I... <laughs> My mom was a teacher, and so there were expectations that I wasn't meeting. and. Uh, she was not happy with me. Uh, matter of fact, I ended up teaching at the same high school that I went to school at for a while, and I ran into more than one of my former teachers that just kind of looked at me like, nope, that's not real. You're not, that's not a thing. <laughs> so, uh, no, I did not plan on being a teacher, but I'm glad that I kind of fell into it because I love it. My favorite part about teaching is two things. First, it's the students I have uh, make me laugh every day. It's fun can't believe I get paid to do this. And then also the people I work with. It's really great working somewhere where I have friends on the staff. I've made friends. We, you know, goes beyond sort of just a generic working relationship. It makes it really exciting to come here every day. So every class is different. And I don't just mean every class you teach. I mean, every single classroom has its own zeitgeist, its own mindset. And so it's different every single day and every single hour. So the classes are very different when I'm teaching AP Psychology. We've got a ton of information to cover. I'm moving fast or these great intellectual conversations I get to have. Um, but then I have a class like Sociology where we're doing super fun projects and I get to see students expressing their creativity in a whole different way. So it, I don't really know that I can say that any one class is any one way. Outside of school, I, uh, I enjoy doing lots of stuff. I really like home improvement projects. I like building something and, and sort of having something to hold in the end and say is done. Uh, I like playing with my dog. I love watching football. I love, I don't know. Life is just kind of exciting. I think I'm, maybe I'm simple, but I just like it doing things. <laughs> it's, it's all fun to me. I do have family. Matter of fact, most of my family is here in St. Louis. Um, we live sort of from all the way over in Illinois to out west here. Uh, I've got a brother and a sister. I've got a couple of step siblings. I do have a son. Uh, I brought him here to Liberty during the eclipse a few years ago. That was, that was kind of fun to see him interact with my students. Um, but I, I do love spending time with my family. I'm going to steal a piece of advice, so I don't want to plagiarize. This comes from a movie called City Slickers, back in the 80s. Not really a great movie, not a bad movie. But a character in there, <laughs> he gets asked, what's the meaning of life? And this is the advice I would give kids, that life really comes down to one thing. And everything else ranks various levels of importance, but you have to remember that one thing that's most important to you. And on your bad days, that's why you wake up and go to work. On your good days, that's what brings you joy. The trick is you have to find your one thing. Everybody has to work and, and we have to survive, right? We gotta make money, unless you're gonna live out in the middle of nowhere and farm all your food or something. but. Um, I learned early on as a kid that I liked working. I liked getting a paycheck, it motivated me, but I didn't like the jobs I had. And so I bounced around for a long time and I really didn't start teaching for good. Uh, I was 30 years old and it was the first job I'd ever had that I was having so much fun I forgot I was working sometimes. You know, I. Sometimes the kids just absolutely crack me up and I'm having fun and I, I forget that it's work and I, I, I like it that much. So that's why I do it. 